again. Um, got a little bit better camera this time, I hope. So, uh, hope this goes well. Um, this is my electric bike. A little bit of changes since you've seen it last time. And today we're at the same park we were at last time. But uh, a little bit different spot. Still gray out, but it's 60 degrees. It's March 28th today. So, I mean, it's if it was all green here, it would be a, quite a beautiful view. So, um, yeah, here it is. Um, some of you guys on Facebook have seen it. Um, YouTube people, you've probably seen it. But just thought I'd do an update with this better camera. And hopefully we can get things a little bit cleared up in some of the changes. So, to start out, I guess for the people that haven't seen it before, Rock Shox, um XC32 with, I changed the tires over to the uh, Kenda Quick 9s for summer. Um, well, I think we're done with the crappy weather this year, so I took the Continental XKs off. Um, Surly frame, it's the Instigator 2.0. Um, a lot of good things have been said about this frame. I was, the guys down at Bikes Limited helped me build this up, which is really nice. Um, defender, front fender, blade two, rear fender. Um, we got this uh, new light here. It lights up red in the back. It's a little different than the last one you probably saw, but then it's got the lasers. I got my lasers back. Um, so then we got a light bar here, typical. Change the seat back to this. It was a cruiser seat for a while, but this seat does more than good. Um, Cali bike battery. Um, it's a light lithium iron phosphate battery, LiPo 4 or whatever it's called. Um, real good guy. Tyler recommend his batteries. He's a really, really awesome dude. Um, CNN motor with the Sunringle rear rim, that was all in the kit. Uh, 72 volt, 18 amp, 3000 watt. Goes way faster than I think it needs to go. So uh, um, that's what I was going for. I was looking for an upgrade, as, as you guys probably know. But then this is just the only remnants of the old bike lift. We still got the old crank set on there. Another little update from last time is we got the, um, uh, the 180 millimeter rotor with the same Shimano disc brake, but it's the 180-160 setup instead of the 160-160 setup, which uh, was pretty good. And then I got this extra speedometer on here just for mile counts. Since this LCD screen here, it is color, I don't know if you can see it, but um, it doesn't quite calculate the miles, it doesn't do it very accurately, so I just want this for mile count. So, going up to the cockpit, we got the mirror. It's got a light on the back. It folds in. That is actually a lot more useful going to school than you would probably think. Um, sorry about the wind there. Um, and we got the LCD controls. This here, this, this uh, increases uh, the pass sensor, and apparently it actually increases the max speed of the bike when you push up down the six kilometer walk feature the s button just switches the two modes of the display and then you got cruise control um lcd still the same as the fall light you saw before they seem to make a decent product i'm liking their products i keep seeing more and accumulating more um lltft lcd it's got the key system only this key and one other key the red key works with this so when you lose it it's gone i don't know how well you can see that but there is a three on there. There's the battery, and then there's all the information with the voltage and everything you need to know. Um, phone holder's gone. I can't remember if that was on the last video or not, but no more phone holder on there because um, I got a new phone, obviously, so and it just doesn't work with it, and I'm gaining some space back. This, this right here, this is a light. That is a party light for at night that I can't really explain how it works until night, but I will definitely try to get a picture in the video of what this thing looks like at night. Um, another front light, batteries taken out of it. Uh, it was the rear light, as you guys know before, but I got a new rear light and I just wanted to do something with it, so I ended up putting it there. Brake levers are correct brake levers for disc brakes. A lot more power in them. I finally got the brakes broken in as well. And the switch, like I showed you guys last time, this is the regenerative braking switch um, instead of the activated levers ones. The lever ones were slow, and second of all, I had to take them out if I wanted the proper linear braking power with these disc brakes. So um, I like it a lot better because you can gain control over it. Um, so, And then this is the newest addition. Um, I think it just ties the whole thing together. I know you see the bike lock there, but it's not a big empty space there anymore. It's just got a nice, smooth, flowing look to it. 
Um, does it fall again? It just ended up being that. Apparently that's what Walmart had and I don't need to spend 200 bucks on a bag. So nothing in it, but it has have a phone holder, which is really nice. And I wanted a little bit of space taker and something that could store a couple things. So ends up this is a really nice little bag. I really appreciate it. I can't seem to close it. I'll do that later. Um, it's really great, but then you see the bike lock is here, makes it a little bit harder to lock it up, but that's all right. Um, under here, this is kind of my makeshift designed wire caisson. Um, it's got this kind of cooling system to it. I guess black duct tape wasn't the smartest to use, but air flows in there and air flows in a hole on the other side. And when it's not dirty out, I like to keep it open back there so that the wires can breathe. This here, this is the inverter. This is the power inverter. This is what converts that um, regen energy back right into the brakes. So um, really important. Bike won't turn on without it, but uh, I think it's a pretty cool thing that I have regeneration braking involved. So um, we can move up. Like I said, new light. Um, Blade 2 SKS fender for 28, 29 inch uh bikes i think it makes it look really good and then we got this rear light i'll you'll see that picture um moving down cali bike battery we'll talk a little bit more about that um 72 volt 18 amp this one is um came out not too recently actually um i told him as soon as i find one i will look into the 3000 watt system and he came out with one i wish it was 20 amp like my old 52 volt but um can't have everything so uh and i think it does more than the job i i am pleased with it um range somebody asked me this on facebook it's really hard to say i'm sure if i kept it nice and speed limit like and only went 20 miles an hour everywhere i'm sure i could get a solid 30 plus miles out of it easy maybe 40 if i'm barely using stuff but i'm not a normal biker uh since i'm going to school and everything it's uh I'm all around town all the time, so um, I'm I'm kind of cruising at high speeds like I always do. The uh, so I would say I solidly get 15 to 20 miles on a charge, and that's pretty average. Um, it does the job. It does the job. I can go up to the bluffs. I can I can go to the store. I can go downtown when I want to, and not have to worry about battery running out. So yeah, as you can see, all the wires are down there. Um, and like I said before, it's a lithium iron phosphate battery. I think he advertises it's what's in Tesla cars, new battery technology, whatever, which is really nice. Um, I've had good luck with him in the past, and this is the new updated bag that's much uh, more rigid. It's got, doesn't have a dangle port. It has a lot of good updates to it. So, And then, as you can see, we come over here, and this is the brain. I never thought the brain was going to be this big. It's a 24 MOSFET, uh, Mo MOSFET um, unit. Uh, it's what came with the kit, and I was utterly blown away when I saw it. I'm like, how am I going to mount this crap? But no, um, the guys at the bike shop helped me drill a boss, and I think another boss was already pre-drilled back here, so we mounted it up here. I wanted the battery lower so we could get that CG down and build this bike properly. Um, ends up being really good uh it's working so far i mean i got regen on i got all the power assists on i got all everything going and it seems to work more than good and i really like the um 24 moff set uh sensor that's in it and uh well not the sensor but you know it's the controller um fet units um instead of the old 12 so here's that other little hole that air can flow through so i keep those wires nice and cool and keep the whole system real cool um so uh moving back then we get down here we got a 160 in the back for the brake another matching shimano disc uh disc brake i actually just did a brake tune so um and this is the 3000 watt 72 volt motor it can do 36 48 and 72 um i think is the highest rating on it i haven't looked into deep specs but there are really good specs online for this motor never heard of the brand but i've never had a motor with a brand on it to begin with so the fact that there's one on here is good enough for me the motors never go bad it's always the vet unit or something else goes bad before anything else goes bad um but as you can see all around, we got the Surly frame. It's the Instigator 2.0 version. I just fit fine, you can see there. Um, 
Single, single link. I thought the six speed was actually going to be the problem. Um, that, uh, it wasn't fitting in the frames I was getting. I had to go through three frames to get this thing to actually work. So I'm like, oh, I'll put a single speed on. But then turns out that six speed still has room. But the single speed ended up being the better option. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how that worked. And I wanted this Surly Instigator frame. It's because what they recommended, it's steel and it can bend. We can, we can widen it to fit this 150 mil, um, wide set and this i think is a 136 to 148 frame as the guys told me and it's surly and i've learned about them and their name and i love their i love their brand so the next build i want to do is actually uh i want something like an ice cream truck or a uh pugsley or what do i really a wednesday a surly wednesday fat bike that's what i really want to do next so yeah um just thought i'd give you a little overview um Here's the bike and hole. We're at the park today, it's 60 degrees. It's absolutely gorgeously amazing and I can't just stay inside all day. So thought I'd come out and give you a little bit of an update and a little bit better quality video. And maybe we'll get some other pictures in this video that weren't there um, before. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can give you some riding footage soon. It's a real fun bike. It's really hard because I'm not going to use my phone and drop it because I really care about it now since it's a good one again. Um, I know we have a GoPro at home, so I will try and get like a GoPro mount and get some good riding footage. I have some from the old video. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it. Let me know any comments you got down below. If you didn't like it, well, like I always say, it's too bad. Just, I guess, don't watch it or... Tell me how I can improve. Um, got any questions about the bike or any... Uh, I'm, I'm, I've built four versions so far. I have V1 Hyper Genesis and now this one's codename The Raider. So, um, yeah, I've had a little bit of experience. I've gone through a FET unit. I've gone through a motor. I've, I've had all the problems you can have. I've experienced um, the hub problem. There's definitely a hub problem at points and... That should be okay. I don't know. Um, I really need to get a torque arm. That's one thing that really needs to be done that I haven't done. But, um, yeah. So leave anything below. Um, I'll catch you in a minute because I think I'm going to head back. And we'll show you the paperwork to this. And we'll maybe get some pictures of the nighttime footage. And I'll let you know the story. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back. There we go. Information here. Um, probably wondering why I have this. Uh, you, as you can probably infer by now, uh, I have it on the bike. My bike is GPS tracked. Why? Because I go to a university where apparently bike stealing is a big deal. And it is not a bad idea to have something that will locate something you have lots of this in. Um, do that really smart idea it's probably worth 25 bucks and any of you know that have e-bikes uh they're worth protecting the investment because that's what they are um as of the previous clip you saw the recent shot of the story that is my e-bike past so that's pretty cool this is documentation all documentation of everything i've ever done to the bike during the build this is the new frame the very initial frame build um, receipt for frame and parts put on to frame from old bike. That is the police um, license. That's the bike license. And then we got all receipts and a build number. 
um, a, uh, uh, what is that, an order number for a, um, the rock shock that I had put in on this thing. So, it's all documented. Keep them documented. It's really interesting. I have, and then on the back of one of these sheets, yeah, there I have total price in. So, and this is the other key. Each key comes with two sets. It comes with a re two red and two blue. You lose these, you got to buy a new TFT LCD panel because they only key to that. The red key is for the parameters to set regen braking amps and all the co optional cooling fan, um, speed limits amp limits like I said um, all those parameters that's what the red keys for it will not power up the bike to work the blue key is how you just turn the bike on and have it on normal use and that key is right on me all the time on my little lanyard a um, lot of protection put into it but that's because there's a lot of this put into it and um, it's worth protecting. I don't know what I'd do without it since it is my main mode of transportation. So, um, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, in probably the last part, uh, leave your comments down below. Ask me any questions you have. And um, I'm sure I will hear from you soon. So, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.